morning, a lot of people are talking about NFL players kneeling during the national anthem. As some owners and even the coaches joined them yesterday. We first saw this happen last season when Colin Kaepernick said that he was protesting police brutality. Well, that movement grew. And then on Friday, President Trump said he thought anyone who kneeled should be fired. Well, that caused hundreds of players to decide to kneel during Sunday's game. And Colts fans, we are celebrating a win this morning, but our social media feeds have been bombarded with what happened before the game started. That's right, because several of the Colts players also kneeled during the national anthem. Our own Rich Van Wyk live outside Lucas Oil Stadium this morning with several Colts players. What they're saying about this move. Good morning, Rich. Good morning, Julia. Colts win for the first time this season. It's apparent, though, fans and players have more to talk about than just the scoreboard. This is what it looked like yesterday afternoon, just prior to game time, on the sidelines during the singing of the national anthem. Nine Colts players took a knee by our count instead of standing up. Much of the team stood, but the players locked arms as a sign of solidarity. Some of the Cleveland Browns players took a knee as well. This is in response to a tweet from President Donald Trump, who claimed that any players who protested oppression and equality by not standing during the national anthem should be fired. Colts players we talked with, though, didn't offer any apologies. There's no disrespect to the flag, the country, any of that. But um, uh, obviously the comments made by Trump earlier in the week um, you know, had some guys stirred up. And if it kind of, for some guys, for me personally, kind of drew a line in the sand almost to where, um, you know, I just wanted to be clear which side I was on. We protest right and wrong. Equality for all people, um, justice for all people. Um, like I said, it's, it's not just about, we all have people who sacrifice their lives for the flag and for, and for all rights as people in America. President Trump responded by firing off a couple of tweets. One of them said, sports fans should never condone players that do not stand proud for their country, national anthem, or their country. The NFL should change policy. Coming up at 5 o'clock, we'll hear from fans and what they think of yesterday's protest. Uh, some mixed reviews, I'll give you a little hint. Julia?